This is my story. I'm not telling this story for someone to believe or follow my beliefs. I'm giving you the truth about my life. My soul raised up, floating in midair, quickly realizing I was in another realm, feeling weightless and bliss, noticing invisible light and colors I've never seen before appearing all around me. The silver cord, the invisible rope, that tethers my soul to my body had snapped. Being curious in a way I floated toward my room. Normally I would be sleeping in. Heading in that direction I wound up going through the wall. When I made my way into the room, I tried multiple times waking my wife up, but my transparent soul couldn't make a connection, and having any success, her soul actually came up out of her body also. She was transparent, illuminated light. You could see every beautiful feature on her but yet see right through her. Her body glowed. She had a dress with colors I couldn't explain to a human eye. Gold sparkles covered it. As she floated out in front of me, behind her a heavenly realm opened up as the whole wall disappeared. I saw another realm behind the realm I just floated into with amazing colors and a perfect made landscape opened as a tropical beach. Every palm tree, every grain of sand, and all the water of Appeared to be alive. Everything sparkled like gems. At that moment I looked at my wife's perfect, beautiful, made transparent lips like I could read them. They said everything will be all right. My experience now had ended, waking up gasping for air on my couch, quickly realizing what had happened. A new chapter in my life had just started, researching every near-death experience I could find, putting me on a new journey. After 10 years of researching, hundreds if not thousands of outer body experiences, I started to realize Jesus was God. But there was a small problem, my near death experience and some of the others at that time did not match up to what? I learned from church or religion around me. I would say confusion started setting in. I started questioning who God was. Months were ticking by. Then I started to hear voices. 
now I know are from God. I heard voices about things in the future, particularly things about my kids. Quickly after hearing these prophetic things, I started seeking the God in the Bible more. Even though the Bible was not matching up with my experience because of a lack of knowledge. Weeks went by and I was at the end of my rope with God. I went outside in the front yard and yelled out the top of my lungs, God if you're real, reveal yourself to me now. I was yelling loud with sincerity in all my heart. Then suddenly peace came over me. My body turned to the left and my head lifted up toward the sky and BAM! God appeared on the throne. He was as big as a mountain. He filled the whole sky. He was illuminated transparent light. You could see through him, but yet see every feature on his body from his head to his feet. He was sitting on a chair that looked like one on either end of the nice dining room table. There was a giant book on his lap that was open halfway. Everything was glowing. My first instinct was to get on my knees and bow to him. He quickly said no, so I stood up in awe. I felt like I was getting some kind of revelation downloaded, but at that time I didn't know what. I started noticing that everyone was part of some sort of religion. If it was Christian, Catholic, Muslim, Hindu, Atheist, or some kind of science, or whatever it is, they all lived by some kind of faith. I started to see every religion and belief and faith live the same pattern. Most people were self-seeking. I felt God downloaded wisdom during my encounter. I was seeing the world differently. A couple months went by and confusion was setting in. I had enough of this hypocrisy. I was on the end of my bed one night looking up at the ceiling with my finger waving in the air at the invisible God. I said, who are you? If you're just the Christian God. I was asking and wondering. I went on saying, I don't want nothing to do with you. I would rather burn in hell than serve you. Saying it with frustration and anger.
Well, God must have heard me. I turned a video on the computer and saw a testimonial preacher. What's that, you ask? It's someone who doesn't preach the Bible, but he lives the Bible. So his life is a testimony. And remember, at this time, things I knew from religion was not matching up with my near-death experience. I didn't even know that God on the throne was in the Bible for nine months after my encounter. That's the little knowledge I had about the good news. Gospel means good news. What's the good news? We are one with God. He's in us. As soon as I was watching this testimonial preacher, it's like a light lit up in my head. And at that moment, I knew God was love and the whole world was about love. I quickly realized that most of the religious people who I met over the years had a limited understanding who God was. People with a lack of knowledge made up not doctrines to fit the life. They only quoted scriptures that fit their experiences. I started reading the Bible for myself, quickly realizing that God is love. I finally answered a question I've been asking myself my whole life. Why is the world so evil if God made it? Nobody ever answered that question. I believe you all had the similar experience. It's simple. Genesis 6 1. The world multiplied in the flesh. The world multiplied in the flesh. I'll break it down real simple. God gave us the world. Sane tempted Jesus in the desert and said, All this I will give you. Jesus didn't reply saying it was his, no, he just rejected the flesh. He said multiply in his image, which is spirit. But instead we multiplied from the fall of man in the flesh. When we multiplied in the flesh, we built cities, then countries, governments, and yes, churches were started. People started finding God through the flesh and preached through the flesh. Churches started denominations, power, greed. It's my way, not your way, and war started. To prove it, God says in Galatians 5.25, Live by the Spirit, let us walk by the Spirit. Galatians 5.22, The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, kindness, and much more. How would my way and not your way and denominations and wars start if we were led by the Spirit. I didn't make this video to pick on a culture or a belief. I had made many mistakes in my flesh in the past.
I now travel around and talk with everyone who has ears to hear. I've been given a mission to let people know who they truly are. We are all royal priesthood, God's special possessions. We are called out of darkness into the wonderful light. Knowing we are not the flesh, but the spirit being inside this vessel. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be God and not out of us which is our spirit being that's in our body that's one with God that's the good news God put a piece of him in us Two hundred forty-five thousand people die every day and one day you too will come out of your body and see it laying in front of you and wish you never invested in something that perishes into the dirt. Now realizing who I am, helping others, miracles in my life have been a normal occurrence. And having many other encounters with the Spirit of God has me realizing how much God loves everyone. Also, never to judge anyone because we never know where someone walks in with God. We don't know the circumstances they are having that day. If they are homeless or broke or hungry or a family member has died or contemplating suicide or they just might be God's next encounter and on fire the next day maybe they're so proud that their ignorance keeps them from knowing their true value their whole life and because of that they live in this hell we call earth without God until they die or the next person you judge could just be an angel No matter what the circumstances are, God loves all lost, found, murderers, abusers, criminals, Pharisees, all cultures and all races. As for Christians, Matthew 5.16 says, In the same way let your light shine before others. We're called to imitate Jesus. Ephesians, be imitators of God as beloved children. 1 John 1, 6, if we claim to have fellowship with Him and continue walking in darkness, we lie and do not know the truth. Jesus came to restore us back to the Father on earth right now. God bless.